Hello everyone, I am Priyanka Kulsundar, Assistant Professor, IT Department and today onwards we will discuss our new topic that is Logic Design and Computer Organization. In that, first topic is Logic Family Introduction. Now, what is Logic Family? We will discuss one by one. Now, contents are covered such as what is Logic Family, what is Integrated Circuit, then advantages of digital integrated circuit, disadvantages of digital integrated circuit and classification of logic families. So what is logic family? Logic families indicated the type of logic circuit used in IC and a circuit configuration or arrangement of the circuit element in a special manner will result in a particular logic family. It means that the group of compatible devices, compatible devices is nothing but the integrated circuits with the same logic level and supply voltage are also called as digital logic family and they are used for performing different logical functions and the set of digital ICs belonging to the same logic family are electrically compatible with each other. Got it? What is the logic family? Now, what is integrated circuit? Integrated circuit is nothing but a complex set of electronic component and their interconnection that are imprinted onto a tiny slice of semiconducting material. It means that Integrated circuit is a small silicon semiconductor. It is a small silicon semiconductor. Crystal is called as chip. It is a small silicon semiconductor. It contains components like transistor, decoder, resistor and capacitor. Also, the digital integrated circuit operate and binary signal. It can op operate binary signal. They are made up of interconnected digital gates. They are made up interconnected digital gates. And integrated circuits are usually called ICs or chip. As shown in figure. Now next is what is advantages of digital integrated circuit. The digital integrated circuit the size is extremely small, okay, and I see circuits are integrated on a single chip. This feature has reduced the overall size of digital system. Also, the weight of ICs is very less and the cost of IC is low. It means that the cost of the digital system is also low. It is more reliable. It means that the number of interconnection from one device to other device has decreases. It is more reliable. Also, it has suitable for small signal operations. And IC, IC circuit is included in a single small packages. And small packages needs for less power. Okay. And it reduces the power consumption of the digital system. It means the reduction in power consumption that is to be achieved due to the extremely small size of ICs. These all are the advantages of digital integrated circuits. Now, what are disadvantages of digital integrated circuit? First one is it can be handled only limited amount of power. It means that they are incompatible of handling large current or voltage. Also, high grade PNP assembly is not possible. It means that they are not suitable for high power consumption operations. And they can be used for circuits that perform low power operation. Also, it is difficult to be achieve low temperature coefficient. And inductors 
cannot be fabricated directly it means that the electrical devices like inductor then resistor cannot be implemented on ics got it what is the disadvantages of digital integrated circuit now the next one is what is classification of logic families and what is exactly mean by logic family classification it means that all the logic circuits are available in terms of ic integrated circuit chips okay and these ic modules are classified into many families and these families is also called as logic family okay and this family included the terms like speed cost voltage power consumption and current level also the logic families are categorized into two types first one is bipolar and second one is unipolar families figure shows the classification of logic family okay bipolar logic family it uses the charge holes and electrons okay and the bipolar transistor are fabricated on chip it can be fabricated on chip and in bipolar ics the main elements used as resistor decoders and transistor also current flow direction is two way direction okay in bipolar current flow direction is two way direction and it is divided in two types first one is saturated and second one is unsaturated now what will happen in saturated when the transistor moves or switch between the outer region and saturation region it can be it is called as a saturated logic okay transistor move or switch between cut off region and saturation region it it is also known as saturated logic the middle level is active region it means that middle level is active region and the saturated logic families divided into following types first one is resistor transistor logic for the logic operations the resistor transistor logic circuit use resistor as a input and transistor as a switching device resistor use as a input and transistor use as a switching device okay no next one is decode transistor logic in decode transistor circuit decode is used as a input network and transistor is used as a switching device transistor used as a switching device and decode used as a resistor okay and third one is direct couple transistor logic in direct couple transistor logic input are directly coupled to the base terminal of the transistor without any base resistor okay input are directly coupled to the base terminal without any base resistor okay next one is integrated injection logic now it uses bipolar junction transistor and it is used to overcome the current problem in direct couple transistor logic next one is high threshold logic high threshold logic gates are mostly used to provide high noise immunity in high level noise okay and the various control circuit now last one is transistor transistor logic that is ttl it mainly uses transistor or fabricated signals okay and it uses as a ssi and msi ssi means small scale integration and 
MSI it means medium scale integration devices okay the next point is unsaturated logic family unsaturated logic family it means that when the transistor switches back and forth between cutoff and active region it means that cutoff region to active region and active region to cutoff region it is also it's called as unsaturated logic and it classified into two types scotty transistor transistor logic and emitter couple logic okay the emitter couple logic it means that the emitter of two transistor are connected together okay emitter of two transistor connected together and it used for high speed application emitter coupled logic uses for high scale high speed applications now next type is unipolar logic family unipolar logic family uses only one type of charge carriers bipolar uses both type of carriers okay and unipolar uses only one type of charge carriers and they are fabricated using metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor okay and the current flow of unipolar logic family in one direction unipolar logic family current direction is one direction okay and bipolar current flow direction is two way direction okay now unipolar logic family classified into three types first one is p channel metal oxide semiconductor it consist of p type it consist of p type and it is the oldest and slowest logic family now the next one is n channel metal oxide semiconductor it consist of n type and it is used for large scale integration ic devices and third one is complementary metal oxide semiconductor it is a combination of p channel and n channel metal oxide semiconductor and it is used in packet calculators it is used in packet calculators n channel is used for large scale integration and p channel is used for slowest logic family okay these all are classification of logic family this is important point related to our topic thank you so much for watching this video if any doubts regarding this topic mention in comment section thank you so much